Okay, let's say I have an example where I want to take 25 centimeters cubed and I want to convert it into inches cubed. So when I'm setting up my dimensional analysis, I want to start with the number and the unit that I'm given. And in my conversion factor, I want something that's going to let me go from centimeters cubed to inches cubed. Now, I might not be sure about the cube part, but I do know that there's 2.54 centimeters in one inch. If I look at this as is right now, um, only one centimeter is going to cancel out with the cube. I'm going to get squared, and then my unit's going to end up to be centimeters squared inches, which is not going to work right now. So, let's see what I can do. I need inches cubed and centimeters cubed. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cube this entire conversion factor. And what that means is I'm going to distribute that cubed throughout the entire thing. So this is the same as saying 1 cubed inches cubed, 2.54 centimeters cubed, cube that whole thing. Okay. So in my calculator, I'm doing 25 and I'm dividing by 2.54 cubed and I should get an answer of 1.52. The cubes now uh, cancel out and I get inches cubed. Okay, um, let's do um, another kind of similar example. Okay, so let's say I have, um, I don't know, 10 millimeters squared and I want to convert that into centimeters squared. Okay, so again, same thing. I put my original number and unit, and in my conversion factor, I want millimeters to cancel out, put that on the bottom, centimeters on top, and I might not know about the squared part, but I do know that there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter. Now, right as is, again, this is not going to cancel out to give me centimeters cubed. If I look, one of the millimeters will cancel out. I'll end up getting millimeters times centimeter. Okay, that's not what I want. But what I can do is I can square this entire conversion factor. And what that means is I can do 1 squared, which is just 1, centimeter squared, 10 squared, millimeter squared. So in my calculator, I'm doing 10 divided by 10 squared, and I should end up getting 0.1 centimeters squared. And if you notice, the millimeter squared, millimeter squared cancels out and that shows me that I am left with centimeter squared. So I can do this when I'm using um, a squared length unit, like if I'm doing area, or I can do this with cubic if I am doing volume.